Hey judges, I'm Snigda. Today my group and I will be taking you through a venturesome journey through Greenridge Secondary School. Have you ever come across the 2030 Green Plan? It is a nationwide movement advancing Singapore's national agenda on sustainable development. The key target that we have chosen is none other than City in Nature. City in Nature aims to add more greenery to this urbanized city to recoup its nature. Why do you think Singapore wants to adopt the concept of a city in nature? Singapore's rapid rate of urbanization, referring to a large increase of energy being utilized for human activities. This caused a tremendous increase in the concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere which led to the enhanced greenhouse effect, which traps heat causing Singapore's mean temperature to increase. Hence, this particular key target of the city in nature was implemented to cool the city down from the enhanced greenhouse effect to sustain a livable environment for future generations. After trying this out, Singapore has become one of the world's greenest and coolest cities encompassing green spaces such as parks, energy-efficient green developments and buildings whose achievements and milestones are celebrated locally and globally. Hey judges, my name is Yang Yi. Right now, I will be bringing you around some of our school's contribution to our key target, City in Nature. Our school has set up a garden for students to volunteer and take part in growing edibles such as potatoes and corn. After which, we will harvest the crops and donate them to the people. This also cultivates a more eco-friendly place as more plants are potted in school, making the school's environment cooler. Moreover, our school has an initiative called Current Affairs Thursday Sharing, which is also known as CATS, where a group of students are required to prepare a presentation on Thursday to raise awareness on hot topics like climate change. Hi judges, I'm Xia Hui. Based on a survey that we have conducted, the majority of teachers and students had mentioned that our school is eco-friendly because of our many facilities with eco-friendly alternatives such as using lights with motion sensors, electronic bins, and recycling bins all over the school. Additionally, our school is naturally surrounded by many green spaces, such as Zhenghua Nature Park and Chestnut Nature Park. Thus, our school's overall temperature is generally lower. Despite many students and staff assuming that we are eco-friendly already, we feel that many more developments can be made. Now let me introduce you to our rooftop. Since the rooftop is unutilized, we can turn it into a place for more productive users while also embellishing the scenery with greenery. The box-like structure can be used as a foundation to hold solar panels in place to absorb solar energy that could be utilized in hydroponic system. The empty space below the structure can be used to contain a hydroponics showcase. The energy generated by the solar panels will then be used to power the fluorescent lights to help grow the crops in its control environment. By growing more plants, and being backed up by a renewable source of energy, we are establishing a greener side to Greenridge. We could start a competition between classes where students have an opportunity to start their own plantations which are easy to grow in our tropical climate. To start off, each class will be designated with a plant to grow. These plants can be hung on empty walls to add greenery all around our campus. Equipment such as hooks, wires, will allow plants to grow on the wall. A competition with a grand prize will motivate the students to have more commitment and achieve a desirable result. This will cultivate a caring community for the environment in our school by teaching us how to care for plants responsibly while having a memorable experience which will encourage our school to build on this initiative of adding greenery around the school. I feel that this will be a great addition to our current gardening initiative as it's easier and it's a greater scale. We hope we have conveyed a strong message to all of y'all on our children's plans on how to improve Greenridge Secondary's environment to make a greater step towards bringing nature back to our city. Hope, hope you enjoyed our sharing and let's strive to be eco-friendly together! together.